Okay, cool. So, someone's coming to my chat. Hello. Stuck in iron 4-0 LP on a 7 loss streak. 200 games in iron. I don't know how to win anymore. 1,500 games on record. Still can't climb. Iron 4 is actually better than bronze and silver. Interesting. But, yeah. All right. Let's help you get into... Let's, yeah, let's help. Let's do something, okay? So, iron 4-0 LP, 7 loss streak. We're going to turn that around, okay? All right. We got you. First thing I'm observing... Um, <laughs> There's blitz, a Blitzcrank on the enemy team. The enemy support has Smite with well, Phase Rush. Love that. Rigged. And you've got Arcane Comet... Cho'Gath. Um, if you're doing... Uh, and an on-hit team on mid... Jesus. Yeah. Press the attack, Darius. Right. I've been told by um, Expos here and Nidalee that um, our viewer here that uh, Bruce Nidalee's really OP. So... Yeah. We'll figure that out. Okay, so, I mean, honestly, firstly, there's just... I mean... I mean, I kind of just want to watch this guy. An Iron 4-0 LP Teemo mid who's just stepping in the middle of the fucking lane. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's where it's at, to be honest, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I, I want to see what he does, actually. I do want to see what he does here. What's his plan? No? Okay. I expected more, to be honest, Timo. I'm a bit disappointed. He's up against Fizz, and I reckon, you know, once Fizz gets... Uh, once Fizz gets six, Timo should be free food. Right, so the first thing, a lot of mistakes that happen in... Uh, in Solid Q, especially in Lower Elo, is your, is your lane mechanics. So you've already hit her with a spear, which is pretty sexy. So that's good. Karma's doing a little bit of zoning. I don't know where Blitzcrank is. Okay, now he's now he's showed up. You've got to think about what your win conditions are in this lane, how you play it, right? So at this point, you're taking a kind of some some free hits because you'll see whenever you walk up to a minion, Misfortune's like, yeah, I'm gonna smack you about, right? So you you walk up to a minion to CS it, and she just hits you. And unfortunately, there are opportunities for you to do the reverse. Which, um, you're not quite taking advantage of. Maybe that's because you're niddly, mate. I don't know. I'm going to skip a little bit here because we don't want to. Okay. Biggest threats you have to be aware of. Two things. Firstly, Misfortune's double up and Blitzcrank's grab. So you don't want to stand. <laughs> oh, man. All right. The Smite Crank has uh, claimed its first victim. The, uh,. ADC's cannon minion. <laughs> That's something. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I guess the, the positive view of someone like Nidalee, you can heal up, you have sustain, so there's that. Um, yeah, so if you do tank things like the Misfortune Q, then I guess that's okay. That's okay. You see how you like, you're already kind of harassed here. Misfortune just for free. Just getting so much damage off onto you already. That's a bit of a whiff there. And a lot of these skill shots, you know, they don't go anywhere, which means that Blitzcrank can now just free walk up to you, engage. Karma has no flash. This is good though, you're turning it around. Gotta focus the Blitz with Blanku here. But if if you hadn't taken like 70% of your health in harass here, you could have you could have stuck to this. Uh, uh, you could have kept going here and these guys you probably could kill them because they're not exactly healthy, right? Misfortune right now as well. She's out of mana. This is your time to shine. Honestly, you go ham here. Is Blitzcrank staying? Blitzcrank's left anyway. I mean, but like you got to punish this. You got to punish this while she's oom. While she's like low as well. To be fair, like this is a 2v1 situation, but you don't know that right now because you don't know if Blitzcrank's in the bush waiting for you, right? So that's fair. But if MF is like that low, honestly, I feel like you just gotta kind of go ham a little bit because you're wasting up you're wasting your opportunities really. And so even though it looks like it's not really a mistake because like you know you didn't die, you didn't lose your summoners, etc., etc., missed opportunities are still mistakes, you know. 
Because you can, you could easily have had like a kill in this lane already. Your farm's pretty good though, but like, in comparison, misfortune, misfortune is not last hitting. So from the reverse here, if you're from misfortune standpoint, you know you're playing an iron four zero p like fuck. How do I win this game? I can't. You know this sucks, dude. You've had control of the lane the whole lane phase, and you got fourteen CS. She's not last hitting at all. She is not last hitting. She's wasting all that gold. She's just not getting it. Little thing as well here for you, you set up this freeze, which I don't think the misfortune is going to freeze, but you missed out on this minion wave because you had one more wave to push, which you didn't push. Your The lane state wasn't good for you. You had more of your minions than there were enemy minions, so your minions were, were pushing. And uh, so now your wave didn't go under the enemy tower, yet, so it's not bounced out, and now you're out of, you're out of position because you have to play up to try and touch the minions. And unfortunately for you, not only are you having to play up to try and touch the minions, but you're all by yourself because your karma is in the river because they were doing something with something here, like, you know, I don't know, uh, enemy jungler, I think it was in the river there or something. So, yeah, unfortunately for you, you're in a bad spot and you didn't, didn't have any backup either, so, tough. This is quite good though, you're... You found a little window to go for a um, go for a spear. You moved around the minion to place a spear. It was nice. Uh, misfortune as well, mate. I know you're not listening, but if you're listening, dude, you spam your abilities so much, you don't get any minion kills, and your perma oom. Right here would be a good opportunity as well for you to freeze this lane, right? So instead of jumping in as cougar form and uh, just killing all these minions. You, you just, you let it be, you let it be, it pushes into you, and now Misfortune's always going to have to play under your turret, which is great, because then it means she's vulnerable, if the, if your jungler wants to come, it's vulnerable if she oversteps, and it keeps you safe from Blitzcrank, whereas now, you're pushing into her, right? So you've lost that opportunity, okay, I mean, she's just going to right-click everything anyway, but whatever, you've lost your opportunity to... To chill, to chew under your turret. And, um, yeah, I mean, you could really be denying her a lot of CS. You could get a huge CS lead over her. Instead, she doesn't have to do too much, do you know what I mean? She can just play by herself. I don't know where Blitzcrank is. I mean, he's AFK under his turret, so... <laughs> Blitzcrank's recharging at the, uh, electronic... Whatever that's called, I don't know. I don't have an electronic vehicle, so a charging point. Uh, and now under tower here, she she can just take all this by herself. Whereas she should, you know, these are all minions that you know she she should be like up here right now, right? And then Chogas in the area, maybe he'd want to come down. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But it gives you the at this point he, he would have an opportunity to a chance to right. No hiding. No hiding. God, I hate these new Lily voice lines so much. I'm not gonna lie. So I think you might be getting ganked here again because you're perma pushing. Some of that's on karma. You can maybe type and communicate that with her. But again, if you'd frozen before, you'd be in a different spot. Blah blah blah. I sound like a broken record. I know, but still, it's all quite relevant. This guy, by the way, walked through your ward. He walked through your ward here, and he still surprised you out of fog of war. And it's oh my goodness, you're crazy. Yeah. So this gank, <laughs> you have this ward, right? You put this ward down. He walks through it. He literally walks through the ward. Right? He walks through the ward. Uh, and then you sp still don't react to him until he's here. And that's two kills to Misfortune. Like, and this Misfortune, there's a few things here why this Misfortune should be out of the game already at this point. Firstly, she's always spamming her ability, so she's oom. And if she's oom, she can't really fight you, right? So she's not really a threat in the fights. So you can have your way with her in this lane, really. Secondly, she pushed... She's, she's putting the lane in really bad states where you could freeze it, and so you could deny her loads of CS. And thirdly, we know she's not great at last hitting anyway. So she should be, like, you know, frozen, can't last hit, can't fight, you know, free food for if your jungler wants to come, or, or Teemo from mid wants to roam down. Do you know what I mean? 
But we haven't taken those opportunities, and not only have we not taken the opportunities, we've given her a freebie by not responding to to that body bait gank before. Came from Drake. No, he walked through this ward here. I'll just go back a, a, a tad. Where are we at now? We're at 10, 10, 11. He literally walks through here. He pings it and then just walks through this bush here. Look, there he goes. He just walks up. He literally just walks up. And you guys have no idea. So, yeah. All right, but that was cool. You got some kills, nice, well done. Good job here, good job. Good job. There are some little things, obviously, like last hitting and stuff. You've missed a few assists, missed that cannon as well, but I'm not gonna like, you know, really harp on those things. Cause I think I think you know these things, right? It's just kind of practice and stuff. I'm not gonna try and bully you about that too much. But the thing is, what you've got to recognize as well, which is, is important, is there's a lot of things that you are doing well, you know? So I don't want to like say everything's awful, everything's terrible, and you're the worst player in the world, because it's not true. You know, like, as in, there's a lot of good foundation here for you to work off of. You know, like the vision's always pretty good around bot side. That's a good starter, but then, you know, you actually have to look at the stuff as well. To be perfectly honest, your spears have been quite nice too. Um, you're you're on most certainly. I look at this, and I'm, I would say out of the four people in this bot lane, you're the, you know, you're you're the best one here, right? Look at this go, yeah, volley bear dive, yeah. Okay, you got one. That's cool. Oh, Karma got it. Never mind. Yeah, this Karma is going to be ready to carry, I guess. Yeah. Just got to respect, you know, bullet time. If Misfortune is far away, the only way she can reach you is bullet time, right? So, bear that in mind when you're positioning yourself. Like, you jump into Volley Bear there, which I know you've kind of got to do as, as Nidalee. But you can do it. And then once you hit your passive, you can, like, dash to the side or something like that. Or, like, you know position to the side. Alright. Let's speed this lane phase up a little bit here. The thing is, well, if, if you were like just perma-pushing this lane, you'd be uh, able to take plates and stuff, but you guys have taken one plate bot side. You're obviously not playing four plates. So at this point, you either... This is good, right? Because at this point, there's like three options for you to do, right? Once you've crashed a wave under tower, actually, there's maybe like four. First one is is to recall and spend your money, but you've just you've just recalled, right? What's the button to total gold? Is it X? I can't remember. No, I can't remember it. Um, you just came back, so there's nothing to buy. So you don't want to recall. You're full HP, whatever. You don't recall. That's fine. Second thing you can do, you can harass these guys under turret to set yourself up nicely for the rest of the lane phase. Third thing you can do is to, to attack the tower, play for plates, and the fourth thing you can do is roam. Uh, I think, the f you know, first one's not a thing. You don't need to recall. That's fine. Second one, harassing. You could do this because you guys have got pretty good pokes. So this would be a decent time to go for a harass, some spear, some long range, karma Q, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, you've got to respect the blitzcrank grab, but still, you can do that. You can harass. Third thing, plates, I think, is quite risky because, again, blitzcrank grab, if you're right-clicking plates, blitzcrank can grab you, you're dead. Um, and so the fourth thing to do is run, which you've chosen to do. So it's good, right? It's nice. So this is a... a you know, a decision that you've made here. You know, we've got the wave under tower. Let's go and roam. Now, this is interesting. You're going to mid lane here. What are we doing in mid lane? Like, I get that your lane is done, but like you push your wave. But why? Why are we mid? You could have taken this plate here as well, by the way. <clears throat> you should have played for that play. If if you were if you were actually going mid and you're gonna dedicate to this mid, you should have got some turret damage as well. But instead, uh, yeah. See, this is. I don't know. I don't really. There's not really too much for you to achieve there. You got a wave, but then bot lane misfortune picked up a wave, so it's kind of a net neutral, and they got a plate. So, if you were going to roam a little bit and like look for vision or something, that's cool. That's one thing. But just going mid to push a minion wave. For like a million waves worth of CS, which is fine, but you know what what happened, bot. That was a fight top, so you took mid. If you're roaming to fight, then 
I think that's all right, to be honest, but don't, you know, you weren't, so you, you weren't able to get into the fight. I would say that's like a niddly thing, right? If you're a traditional ADC, I'd say roaming for a fight is probably not where it's at. You could kill this guy, by the way, for sure. So, <clears throat> let's see. So he jumps on you, uses his ult. Okay, sorry. I messed up again. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, this is my fault. So, he ults you. So for starters, before he even gets in, you could probably throw a spear out on him, right? But he's already used his E here, okay? His E's on cooldown, and you're running away, trying to keep yourself alive. So, let's just re... So, right here, you can you can spear him. He's bombing it towards you. At this point, you throw a spear at him. That will tag him <clears throat> and do a bit of damage. He engages with his E, so at that point here, like, you turn you turn into Cougar form kind of late. I know you heal yourself, and that's fine, but... If you heal yourself a little earlier, you can Cougar form, you can EQ him, get your combo off. I mean, look at his HP. This man, it doesn't take a lot to bring this man down. You could have you could have got a kill there. I think you're a little bit scared of the fizz. As if you know your limitations, you know, you know, once he's blown like most of his combo on you, like he E hits R, E and Q you, what's he got left? Auto attacks. Right? So at that point, it's like you may be on like ten percent health, but he's used all of his abilities, you got nothing to be afraid of anymore. Nothing. So that's when you turn around on him and dick on him. This is good though. See, but now look at you got a, yeah. That was good though. You get a push, you go for the turret. That's cool. <clears throat> I think yeah, you're giga dead here. You react to that again a little bit slow. So map awareness is a thing here, because these are free kills given to enemy players that you don't need to give them. You didn't react to Fizz being here until he was like here, right? And you saw him like here. So it's a similar thing. Cosmic Drive Rush Toga. And what is Tito building? Sork Boots with... What the fuck? What does this even build into? Does it build into anything? What is the hotkey for gold? Where is it? It's not that. Scoreboard items, it doesn't have a... But yeah, this this death of you, like, someone should have covered this, to be honest, obviously. But you can't control what other people do. <coughs> but because you died down here... Enemy bot lane got two towers. Which is a lot. Especially this one's worth a lot of gold, so... Again, didn't need to give that one over. Just a little thing, really. It may see, it's may see the thing is like they got two turrets, and you you may that may seem like a big deal, which you know it is a lot of gold and stuff. But you could have prevented it just by doing a tiny thing different. So it's it doesn't need to be too overwhelming. You can break these things down quite nicely. I'm also curious as to what like the Nidley does, like why you've picked Nidley. You, I know you say Bruiser Nidley is strong. I don't see what's Bruiser about this build. I mean, obviously you rush still caps, but apart from that, you just Nidley. But, um, I mean, to be honest, you can kind of play anything in solo queue, so it's fine. But Nidley is kind of like a skirmishing, like hunting champion, right? <clears throat> she wants to find things. She wants to pick people out of position. She wants to assassinate people. What value does Nidley bring into this bot lane? I think, honestly, with Karma, it's a good matchup. Ideally, I, I think if you want to win lane, you'd want to just push really hard, get them under turret, and then just poke them and harass them, and keep them on, like, you know, half health, so that you can always threaten a kill, and then not die to ganks. I'd say that's the main thing, right? Because otherwise, I don't see what the point is. Like, at this point, you're kind of scaling alongside Misfortune, but Misfortune's going to be more useful than you in team fights. so what's the point? You know? And um, it's it's pretty illegal that this Misfortune is 9-3-0. and zero. Right? And you could have turbo shot her down this game. 
Alright. You're not... Oh my goodness, you TP'd. I wonder where you went there. Fucking hell. Okay, so now we're top lane, Lee. It's it so... It is interesting. You... <laughs> You were you didn't want to dedicate to this turret, I guess, because you thought it was too risky. And then you teleport out up here, which is uh, probably what is wait. And K was TP to a minion. That was probably a troll TP, to be fair. I don't know. <coughs> or a, or a serious misclick. But yeah, I don't know. So that's that's your TP a little bit wasted as well. So I think maybe. Maybe you can think like instead of teleport, maybe ignite. Because like how how many kills could you get bot lane if you had ignite instead, right? Unless you do want to play a split push role and have that TP, but I don't know. This hasn't been it. Ko doesn't have ult here, so yeah. it's tough. So the thing is, like if you if you think about where you've been on the map. You've been 99% of the time in the spot lane, right? You went mid once, you teleport top and lost both your sums. Or no, you don't, I don't think you had to flash, but whatever. I teleport top and didn't get anything there. So what is your purpose? And I think this is kind of like a kill lane, right? Kill lane slash poke lane. It's not a farming scaling lane. And again, what are you roaming for here? You're roaming to help defend. Nidley's not good at that. I think you'd be better off. At this point, you are weak as bull sacks, okay? You got one item. You haven't finished your second item. You're 20 minutes into the game, right? You're playing into a lot of bruisers, Volibear, Darius, tanky people. You need to be a bit more selfish and get yourself strong so that you can directly impact this game, right? Rather than trying to play with your team and do things like this. Like, you see this happening. Realistically speaking, firstly, you're going to get here way too late, right? But secondly, realistically speaking, even if you were here, look at this, yeah? What would you even do about that? You know? How would you help? How would you stop this? This is going to happen whether you're here or not. And instead, what you can do is go bot, pick up these waves, get this turret, keep pushing, maybe even get this second turret as well, right? Is there five people here? One, two, three. Oh, shit. There's there's literally five people here. There's, I, for some reason, I missed one. I don't know. Maybe I thought one was a minion. It's Fizz because he's blue like these void grubs. But you know what I mean? You're not doing anything here. Just get yourself strong. Go down bot. Take this wave here. Take all this wave. Take all that gold. Like My prediction of nothing's going to happen here. Like You won't have any impacts. Let's see. Let's see what you do here. You healed... That didn't do anything. Kale came in. Karma gets a shutdown on Fizz. Let's go. And then what? So we've, we've killed a minion. So like your individual impact. Like what could your team have done if you weren't there? Right? Honestly, you did not need to be there. Right, you guys killed Fizz, that was cool, but I think, to be honest, Fizz probably would have died by himself. Secondly, Fizz absolutely into that. You, we shouldn't assume that Fizz is going to jump under a tower and just suicide, but whatever. Whereas in reverse, look at all the minions you could have been grabbing here. You could have got this tower as well, which is a big deal, right? Big deal if you get a load of gold, keep pressuring this, keep pushing this. And the thing is as well, like, with all the time that was spent topside, you probably could have even got this tower, which is worth so much gold. It's like 700 gold, dude. It's like two kills if you get this tower. It's crazy. What the shit is this man doing? I don't know. And now, where where have you gone now? What the fuck? Where have you... What have you... Where are you going, mate? Sorry. I'm, I'm talking all this nonsense, and, like, I just don't know what's happening here. So this is the defense. Where are we going? We're taking this minion wave here. Missed the cannon minion. And then, right. What are we what are we doing? Where what what's happening here? You know, how are we helping us win this game? The ping spam from teammates to ask for help. Yeah, for sure, hundred percent expos, mate. Hundred percent. That is something that is like really distracting. I I like this is one of my biggest problems. I'd say as well is I do that too. My team will ping me to do something or they'll time me to do something. And so I'm more likely to do it even if it's a really terrible bad decision. 
Again, I'm going to say the same thing here to you, mate. Where are you going? What are you doing? You know, this turret was defended anyway. Nothing for you to do there. So where are we going? I get that it seems a bit scary if you'd be pushed out like this. Like, <clears throat> you do have a trinket ward though, so you can maybe ward up and protect yourself a little bit. But, like, if you wanted to defend Nash, you're not defending Nash. Like, you're not going to be able to help that. You're not going to be able to do that yourself anyway. So what's the point of even trying? Jumping into Darius is a risky strategy. Help leashing him dragon as well is another <laughs> risky thing. This is good though, you'll get him there, yeah. But you've done a lot of running around, right? I think this is one of the biggest thing I'll say. Like the lane phase, there are a few things to nitpick about how I think you could have really shut Misfortune down. Misfortune should have been an NPC in this game. How are we only halfway through this game? You know, Misfortune should have been a caster minion, basically, this game. But after it, what are you now doing? Right? Like... You can't really group up because you're Nidalee. Like, Nidalee doesn't really want to group up, to be perfectly honest. It's just not what she does. And individually, to be individually strong. What are you doing? Like, you need to be more selfish. You, you could just be sitting bot, pushing out. This turret, that T1 turret is still alive. Take it, man. Just take it. It's free. Obviously, you don't want to be there when, like, Darius is there or someone's there that's, like countering you but as a nilly if you've taken someone else out of the fight let's say let's say volibear comes to match you right like he, he's bot right now i think he's still bot he might be coming yeah he's still bot let's say volibear comes to match you there's no volibear in the team fight for the enemy team and no nilly nice good snipe no nilly in the team fight for your team overall that works out better for your team than their team right Volibear is more valuable to his team than you are to your team. Jesus Christ, Teemo. What is this Teemo's build, bruh? Rudin's Hurricane, Umbral Glaive. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. What is that? What's even the, like, purpose of that? Fuck you know, he's cooking something, man. I don't know what it is, but he's cooking something. Runin's team only meta, like, I mean, that's not, I mean, at least that's an attack speed. Umbral Glaive, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on there. But yes, generally speaking, my point here, especially if you're on someone that nearly, or if you're weak in general, you could be playing a champion that is decent in team fights, right? <clears throat> Let's say the roles are reversed or the misfortune and you're weak, you're far behind. Go bot lane, like, you know, push this bot lane out. Don't group, don't help your team as much in situations where it's not like, you know, you don't really think you're going to be able to help him, help your team. And just farm it up. Like, you got 150 CS here at 25 minutes. This could easily be 200, 250. 250 may be a bit much, but like, 200, easy 200 plus. Easily. Just from the point where, like, I know we've missed a lot of CS, but... Even outside of that, just the time that you spend doing on this map, like moving around, wasting time, you could just be bought and pushing. Like I say, if people come towards you, that's a net win for your team. Um, and you're Nidalee, you're actually, you're, you're pretty good at keeping yourself safe, right? <clears throat> like if people come, I mean, you can set up vision like you're doing here. Set up vision, you can walk into the bush to get your passive, and then you can jump away, these kind of things. Like, yeah, karma getting all these kills isn't good. The thing is, like, your teammates will do dumb things, they will do dumb things, they'll be questionable, idiotic, even at times, but you can't control that, right? So, this is why I'm not like, if I were if if you were karma here. I'll be breaking down your game, being like, bruv, stop taking all the fucking kills, man. Your team needs it. Heal by fire. Okay, and again, again, my dude. You've teleported top. You've left bot lane. You've teleported top to try and kill this Blitzcrank who was pushing. Firstly, you didn't even kill him. But to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly honest, I, it doesn't matter that you didn't kill him. Because even if you did kill him, it wouldn't have been worth it. 
<coughs> it wouldn't have been worth it. Because you could have had all this farm, all this gold, dude. All this gold. Right? <laughs> it could have all been yours. Does Misfortune even win this? Yeah. Because he's AP Choga, who's missed his Q. If Choga doesn't miss this first Q, maybe he can kill her, because he should be able to combo her, but... Do you know what I mean? And, like, this is now a bounty for you guys. I don't know how much the bounty's worth. I'm not sure we can see that here on the replay file. But, oh, yeah, we can up here. 250. So you'd get 250 extra gold for this turret. You know? Just stay bot. Just keep pushing. You you, you are very... You're, you're very scared of, of, of pushing this one out. You know? It's... I just think... Generally speaking, I know I'm harping on this point a lot, but there are a lot of opportunities where you could be bought here, where you could be pushing. <clears throat> and I do think it's like, I'd say a main thing for you to be focusing on here. Because at the moment, you are running around the map with not a lot of purpose. I think you are, the idea is, and what you're thinking is, I need to help my team. I need to be with my team. My team is pinging me to help or whatever. But the reality is, you are now at 170 CS. You know, you're not, you're not farming. You know, you're not farming. You're not getting yourself strong. You're picking up, you know, you get, you're getting involved in the, in the scrap and in the melee when a lot of times you don't have to, right? You're kind of being mind controlled into doing some questionable things. And Never falter. yeah, I just don't, you're not really taking the game into your own hands. You're not getting yourself strong. And... Because like at this point, if as as a Nidalee, you want to be able to find people, maybe like pounce on them. Excuse the, excuse the pun. Um, you know, really pick pick people off, get those kills, etc. But you're not a threat. You're not a threat. So you need to be individually strong to do that, or stronger. And and again, okay. So this is another thing. Like, you're you're doing it again. So, while these two were pushing this inhibitor down, right, while this whole thing was happening here, you're, you're here, and you're not, yeah, you're pushing this out, which is what I'm telling you to do, okay, but then they're, they're going to keep going. So, now you have a decision to make, right? You either group to defend, or you keep pushing bot, okay? Those are your two calls here. Those are your two decisions. Unfortunately for you, you kind of do both, but in but which ends up meaning you get neither, okay? So because it's just Volibear and Blitzcrank, this would be a 2v2. So this is kind of more the numbers that would favor Nidalee, right? Small scrappy skirmishes, not big 5v5s, small, you know, smaller situations. So potentially you could try and defend this one, potentially, right? It would just be a 2v2. You've got three items now, right? So maybe, maybe there's a world where you can defend this. Um, however, if you decide not to defend this and you think you can't, okay, fair enough. Because maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. Um, it's just an inhib at the end of the day. They're not going to win the game. If they went to end the game, obviously that would be problematic. To be honest, they probably could have got that turret too, so... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you decide to keep pushing bot. That's fine. That's fine. But then, when they stop pushing, right? When there's nothing left for them to really get anymore, and they're just picking up scraps in the base, now you reset? Now, this is when you now need to be here and keep pushing, right? Just keep pushing. What is there for you now to defend? It's already too late to defend. This is when you've got to keep going bot. And you could probably get this turret or get someone towards you because they already sent Fizz and Misfortune mid. There's two in, two in base, so it's just Darius left. And if Darius comes for you, he's just playing Aaron because that's what it seems like all anyone wants to do here. Um, and if Darius comes for you, then you run away. You know? Darius won't be able to kill you because... Yeah, you just uh, you just outrun him. Even if he pops his ghost, he doesn't have stride breaker, so you don't have to worry about that. But still, even if he pops his ghost, you run through bushes, you jump over walls, whatever. Darius will be able to catch you. There's no threat there. So yeah, you keep pushing. You get that gold. Yeah. 
Nice. Fucking hell, Karma. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but yeah. You know, you could be really big th at this point. And once you... Y yeah. I think, honestly, at three items, you're already pretty strong, but... You could be massive. You could be... This is this is now going a little bit beyond just getting yourself strong to actually playing, like, an objective. Like a win condition. Kale, bruv. Kale, mate. There's a bullet storm there. Bullet storm, bullet time. Something like that. You can't just stand in that, dude. Okay, this is risky. Even if you kill Blitzcrank here, I don't know. You trade yourself for Blitzcrank, not really worth. See, and look at so Cho'Gath. This is his first time pushing bot, and look at that. He's taken this turret for his team. Cho'Gath doesn't need gold. And Cho'Gath does this a lot slower than you will do this as a Nidley, right? Um, Cho'Gath will do that a lot slower than, than you would have done, because you're Nidley with an attack speed steroid. You've got AP, although I guess this guy's AP as well. No, you're, nid you're niddly with an attack speed steroid. You can push faster. What are you doing? Nice. Um, and you can... You got Sheen, right? So you would have done all of this faster than Cho'Gath did it. And look at him. He's still able to do it, right? And his his strategy of running away uh, is far less effective than your strategy to run away would be, right? His strategy was, I'm going to stand still and just fucking dick everyone, which is cool. But you, you know, you'd be out. Easy peasy. He's... Dude, this is the new tech. Alright, what's Timo getting next? I don't know what straight Dirk and Recurve Bow builds into. Does it build into anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, you know, my... So basically, again, if you're just... If you're... Spending a bit of time pushing here, then you could at this point if you'd pushed and all the opportunities where I was like, "Yo, push, go bot, go bot, go push," you'd be you this inhib would be dead, and then that's then a threat, right? The inhib is dead, and so then you can start playing on other parts of the map. You can, uh, you know, maybe start threatening Baron or something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Now, honestly, this is a tough one. This is a tough one for you because Wallaby will just come back. But I respect it. Just go for it, innit? See, look at that. Three auto attacks on the turret. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, hit it, hit it. Hit, 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 hit. Nope. Okay. I think, honestly, I think you probably could have taken that. But it's fine. But that's it. That's it. That's good. That's what I want to see. More of that. More of that exposed. More of that. You know, a little bit of confidence, a bit of pressure. To be perfectly honest, mate, I will be, like, I'll summarize what I'm seeing here. And it's like, you s you seem a little, um, I guess, just not just not confident in, firstly, yourself. And secondly, how, do you, how you win the game, like your win condition. That's what it feels like watching this. And the fact that you came into my chat and you're like, I've, I've forgotten how to win. Um, I don't know how to play this game anymore. You know, would suggest again that you lack that confidence in yourself, that you kind of you don't believe in yourself, and you've got it, you got it, mate. You can do it. You know, I'm watching this. Absolutely, you could win this game. And I think with a little bit more of that killer instinct and a bit more of your belief in yourself, and you know, putting yourself as the main character a little more, especially when you're playing Nidalee, who you know you don't just group up and be an ADC. I mean, that's fucking insane. Summoning the three people like that. Let's go. You know, I think you can do it. For real. And this is great. You got you got Elder Dragon, so you group up for fight. Are we gonna go for Nash now? Or what's what's the plan now? We're either Nash or we're pushing. What are we doing? We have to be careful as well. Uh you have a naked Nexus. So, any backdoor plays will screw you up. Choga, what is going on? Oh, that's alright. We looked away. We didn't see that. You know, you got the you got these kills here as a team, which should have set up Nash for you. Is he actually soloing this? Fuck me. AP, oh, AP Choga just solos Nash. Fair enough. Guess that's the thing. 
But like again, at this point, the team is so disjointed. This is where pings come in really well. You're a distraction, so Cho'Gath can solo Baron. What's the point? Just take it as a team. What are, you, what are we distracting for? We killed two people. Just go to Nash, take it in like three seconds. You know, you got Kale. Kale melts through that like butter. And you can you can buff her with your E so she attacks even faster. Serpent's Fang was the item here for Timo. For the incredible shielding of Blitzcrank, Misfortune, Fizz, Volibear, and Darius. What shields have we got here? Sterax, fair enough. Passive shield from Blitzcrank, E from Volibear. Sorry. Sorry, Misfortune. I just need to watch this back. Sorry, Misfortune. Can I just watch that? Okay. Okay. This is a ranged champion. Last I checked, Misfortune was a ranged champion. Blitzcrank grabs... Grabs Trogath towards MF. Probably not ideal, but there's still a little bit of a gap here. This is a good rupture, though. But she is... She is clicking towards him. And now she is standing still. And she's... Yeah? Yeah, fair play, mate. Fair fucking play. Cho'Gath Kirby'd this misfortune and just in she comes. Bear in mind, chat, okay? Bear in mind, yeah? I would just like to point something out. 24 kills. 24 kills this misfortune has. 24, 8, and 5. That misfortune has 24 kills. 24. So, yeah, yeah, all right, I'm going to fast forward here because I think we know what's going to happen, here's my prediction, one of these teams is going to, we're just buying heads against each other, seeing who can win, someone's going to fuck up, and when they fuck up, the other team's going to push an end. And I already know who wins, so we know that uh, Nidley's team here is going to overextend. They're going to die. Enemy team is going to push in and end the game. Where where are you? How did you die again, Expose? I missed you dying. But to be honest, Nidley falls off a cliff at this point in the game. You're basically a split pusher slash heal bot here, okay? So you just want to press, you want to group up and heal Kale. If you can assassin, that's great, but it's difficult to do that in big fights, obviously. All right, so what's happening? Fights happening everywhere. Why are we, why are we fighting out here? What are we doing out here? What's the point? I'm not sure. Kale's going for it. Fucking hell, Wally Bear's almost soloing Kale. Kale's going to keep pushing on 0 HP. She's going to instantly die. She's got no ulti either. Who's going to kill her? That's the question. MF maybe. And there it is. Misfortune 2 or attack. She's dead. You're still trying to pick up the scraps of your base. Which to be perfectly honest isn't a terrible idea. Because your base is in tatters. Blitzcrank's backdooring the inhib. He's going to die. And uh, yeah. We're pinging Elder Dragon. You're having to face check, which you shouldn't do, but you should be using your bushwhack or your Q to face check, to be perfectly honest. Jesus, yeah. Bro, you got out of that one. Skin your teeth. There is a healing thing there. Is that game? Alright, does Kale die without using R? That's my prediction. There it is, baby! <laughs> And that's game. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. So you see, like, you're able to pick up bits in these fights, right? You got some kills. It was kind of scrappy. You got some things. But in summary, your lane phase, you could have put this MF in the dirt. NPC MF you could have done. Easy peasy, man. You had lots of opportunities to do that. Bit of confidence in yourself. Punish this misfortune, you know, you can see when she's out, when she's uh, out of mana, that kind of thing. Maybe even honestly consider taking like a, uh, like a ignite or exhaust or something like that. Like a combat summoner on Nidalee instead of a teleport. I think teleport is, to is totally fine, honestly. 
but its its main uses are for things like tempo, so that you can push, r recall, TP straight back in, that kind of stuff, right? And keep that pressure up. But I don't know. I feel like that's maybe a bit complicated for this level at this point. And yeah, so so that you had lots of opportunities to punish misfortune. Maybe consider freezing waves a bit more if you want to as well, rather than just mindlessly pushing, pushing, pushing minion waves, because then it's really easy for Misfortune to farm up. And we know Misfortune is, she's not the greatest player. You, there was a lot of opportunities to punish her, so you can do that. Bit of awareness in the lane phase as well. You got ganked a few times, you had no idea the gank was coming when they walked straight through your wards. Um, what else was it? And obviously things like last hitting, but whatever, you know that. And then just getting focusing on yourself focusing on yourself get yourself strong you know push these side lanes get these side side lane farms get those towers you know especially on nidley especially on nidley if you're like more of a traditional adc maybe you'd want to group up especially if you're strong if you're like strong uh you know you had a good lane phase then you wouldn't want to sit in a side lane and just push because like you're actually really strong your team needs you for team fights but if you're not useful in team fights, like you're not strong or whatever, or you're not a champion that's great in team fights, just don't just don't group. Think about it. Don't you know refuse to group all the time, but think about it a bit more. You know, am I really going to contribute here? And instead, push out your side lane, especially if you're already there. You're already some, there are times where you're already there, and then you left to try and do something which you couldn't really contribute to. Um, those are the main things I would say, honestly. And everything else was just it, the, the same, those same kind of things as playing out. And then once you reach like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, like, yeah. You're, it was an interesting game, like, obviously. But, yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, for goodness sake, this is a 40 minute game. Fizz didn't even have 100 CS in 40 minutes, mate. What is that? How many CS per minute is that? Two, two CS a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Every minute that went by, this guy killed two minions. And he's on 21 kills. You know? He doesn't even have shoes, mate. Where are his shoes? Did he ever get shoes? I don't know. The insane snowballs this rank has. I People are, honestly, they are fighting constantly. And there's there's two ways to go about it, really. There's two ways to go about it. If everyone's fighting all the time, either you pick a champion that scraps permanently and doesn't need, you know, a low income, a low economy, like scrappy champion. Like sometimes, I, I would say as a jungler, like someone like Zinzel, right? Who just jumps in and fights and says, fight, 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 fight. And if you're not fighting, you're fucking it up, you know? Or you pick a champion that doesn't team fight all the time, that has benefits outside of that, uh, and you play it differently, right? Like this Nidley here, potentially. And it, but you know, you don't pick the Nidley and then still try and team fight and scrap. If you push the lanes, the usual thing that happens is the whole enemy team comes. Firstly, if the whole enemy team comes to stop you pushing, that's a good thing. Five people to stop one person, great. Then the rest of your team's free to do whatever the fuck they want, you know? And I know your teammates are iron, but even that statement itself, Expos, you are assuming. A lot from the enemy team while giving zero credit. Well, you're not directly giving zero credit to your team. But let's say if, if the logic is usually the enemy, the whole enemy team comes to stop me. You're assuming the whole enemy team has some, you know, competency, right? Then you have to assume that your teammates have the same level of competency, competency as your, as the enemy team, right? So if five people come for you, which is a good thing. Then the rest of your team, again, can do what they want. Maybe they'll push a wave, push a tower down, get some CS, take drag, you know, whatever it is. And uh, secondly, if to be perfectly honest, let's be real, that's not going to happen. The whole enemy team is not going to collapse on you in a side lane unless you've done something really stupid and pushed out like mega far. Um, but, yeah, people may come for you. But, you know, you can escape that. If you have some good vision, and, like, again, if you're someone like Nidley, you can easily run away. I hope that helped, though. I hope that helped. I don't know. 
Th those are the things I would work on. Make yourself more of the protagonist. Protagonist. And, yeah. That's the main thing. 